he's incredibly tall and, and uh, quick off his feet. And so uh, go play a pickup game. You know, it's harder to play against guys who are really tall. It just is. You know, they challenge the shots better. And, and um, well, Marcus is, I think, the best uh, low post scorer now that we have in the game. And, you know, he's a tremendous shooter, and we just want to be able to challenge those shots knowing that he's going he's to make a lot of them, but I think Javel was able to challenge some of them and make it difficult. Communication is up to par. We're really hard to beat. That's what we want to do for the rest of the series. Play the decision to start Andre obviously worked. But when you first heard that Andre was going to start today, what went through your mind? What, what were your thoughts about that move? Because most of us thought it was kind of a curveball. Yeah, well, um, Andre gives us so much on both ends, especially the defensive end, his ability to guard every position. He's got some of the best hands I've ever seen. And uh, our ability to switch, I think, disrupted them. I know they'll make adjustments Monday, but we were able to, you know, clog the lane, get back to shooters. And Andre initiates that at the point guard position. And um, he's such a great glue, glue guy, can literally do everything, whether it's get the ball off the board and beat the fast break or knock down open three. He was huge for us tonight. Uh, he only took four shots, but um, his intangibles and his rebounding as well as his playmaking were, were great. Clay, the other big question coming into the game was who was going to start at center. JaVale got the nod there. Just what can you say about what JaVale brought? I mean, JaVale is a great threat to him. It might be the best playoff games ever played. He was a phenomenal night on both ends. Um, he was just such a great presence at the rim on offense and defense, disrupting shots as well as finishing shots. So uh, hopefully he comes with the same mindset Monday. And if he does, we'll be in great, in great shape. Hey, Clay, you've had so many games like this where you shoot the ball well even when you don't have the ball necessarily for a long time with catch and shoot. What's kind of the, the science in being able to perfect that so well consistently? Not caring about your stats. It's that simple. If you just focus and play free-minded, um, you're going to knock down shots just because you don't overthink it. You don't um, second-guess yourself. And that's what I've come to at this point in my career. I just want to win. Play on the three of our team. You know, all of us chip in when it comes to facilitating and orchestrating. Hey Kevin, there's so many games that Clay has performances like this where he's scoring even though he's not touching the ball a lot and really cashing in on catch and shoot. What's kind of the signs of being able to perfect that area so well as a shooter? Uh, well, there's a time that you guys don't see. It's just the work that he puts yeah. in when nobody's watching. And being able to come out here and produce that way is because of you know, his uh, will to be better, to continue to fine tune his skills, and you know, that's the. That's what basketball is all about when guys are, you know, in practice or late night workouts or not under the lights. That's when you kind of, kind of cook up and, and work on that type of stuff. And Clay has been one of those guys that's been always a gym rat. And, you know, uh, you know, tomorrow is going to be the same way working on this game. And hopefully, you know, we all continue to keep keep working and get get better by you know as the series goes on. So that's what it's about. Great, thank you. For down the stretch. Well, what's your take on that and just what you were able to do? Uh, I mean, we're a championship ball club. You know, we know what it takes this time of year in order to win. Um, and, and you know, we want to get back to that regardless of what everyone's saying. The Warriors have lost it. They're not together. Um, they can't win without Steph. They're not the same team. Blase, 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 blah, blah, <laughs> blah. Um, <laughs> You know, we know what we're capable of. And so, you know, there has been games that we've won without Steph, a uh, series. Same as Kevin, uh, myself. You know, we've won games without myself. We won games without Clay. We won games without our head coach, you know. And so, you know, we're proud for this. And, you know, I think a lot of people have tend to forgot uh, what we're capable of. We know, and we're going to show that. Uh, you have to know, especially with this team, like your time will come and never know like next series I might not play at all and I'm not going to sit there and probably be the same person I am um, but that's the way it is on this team especially in the center position you have to be ready when your time is called. Phil? JaVale, uh, Steve kept his starting center a pretty closely guarded secret from us before the game. When did you learn and, and what was your reaction? Uh, I, kn I knew when uh, 
I mean, I already knew, so, but we definitely weren't going to tell everybody else that are, are starting, who was starting, because we didn't know who they were starting yet, so, yeah. Oh, well, my reaction was, uh, I mean, I was prepared. I was just preparing mentally for LaMarcus, who's an amazing scorer on the offensive player, so that's what it really was. And we still have another game here in the Oracle, and we have two to go in, uh, in San Antonio, so you still have to stay focused, especially going there. Andrew Fell, what do you think was the key overall in kind of sparking the kind of defensive intensity that you guys need just when you're looking at your own contributions and the rest of the team as well? Um, like like basically staying down upon fakes and uh, just making them, forcing them to shoot tough shots. Uh, that's, the, that's the thing about it. You force them to shoot tough shots and you get the, you get the rebound. And uh, when, when we get going on that offensive end on a fast breaker, we're down there unstoppable. All right, you're talking about